System administrator is most important and evergreen profile for IT industry. Hey all, I'm Majid Rawat, your online instructor. You are watching Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to guide you how you can prepare yourself for the system administrator job. You know that nowadays, each and every organization want to hire a system administrator that categorized in multiple part like junior system administrator, senior system administrator and advanced system administrator. You should know about what are the technologies required for the system administrator job. In this video, I am going to guide you each and everything. What are the prerequisites to become a system administrator? What are the roles responsibility? For example, you just crack the interview for the system administrator profile and you should know about which types of tasks you need to perform as a system administrator. Let me move ourselves to the screen and guide you each and every steps that help us to uh, make you system administrator. So I'm moving myself to the screen But before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time Do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel That give you hundred percent live practical based video without the skip any step The first and really important question. What is system administrator? So you should know about the work of system administrator You know very well about uh, like n number of IT industries are available in the world entire world I'm talking about because nowadays you can you can apply for the remote job as well means we are able to troubleshoot the issues related to the resources that implemented by client in different geographical location for example in Australia client established their server their network their printer lots of devices that established by a uh, client or organization and you are living in India location or any other countries so with the help of internet with the help of multiple tools we are able to provide the technical support over a remote so yes you can also prepare yourself for the system administrator job remotely so let me guide you each and every step let's talk about the work of system administrator first and then we can proceed you know that for example, this is one of organization. It may be XYZ industry, ABC uh, private limited. Okay. This is the core IT company who is responsible to provide technical support or outsource the engineer for different different countries. So this is the organization and in the organization, you know that multiple laptop, desktop, servers, storage, for virtualization, maybe the organization also established ESXi host, hypervisor or Citrix. So for example, this is the organization and uh, that uh, set up multiple resources, multiple desktop or multiple laptop, multiple server, storage, database, right? And you know that all the machines are connected with the help of network. Multiple printers, network printers are available. So the work of system administrator is responsible to resolve the issues related to desktop the one of important most common uh, role for the system administrator desktop troubleshooting all right so you should know about how we can maintain and manage how we can maintain and resolve the issues related to the desktop or laptop you are responsible to handle the networking as well for example Multiple machines are connected with same network and unfortunately they are not able to ping each other. They are not able to access internet. System administrator is responsible to resolve the problem of no internet connection. Means you are the responsible person to resolve the issues related to the no internet access. Users unable to access printer like one number of uh, network printers are available in the organization. And unfortunately, one of the user, one of client, unable to take print out with the help of a share printer. So our responsibility, system administrator responsible to, resol to resolve this issue. What are the other, other tasks that we need to perform in case of desktop troubleshooting? You are responsible to manage networking, right? You are responsible to manage the troubleshoot of a laptop and desktop. Number third, you can also manage the storage part, right? So in the storage, you know that how to map the FTP, how to map the network drive, right? NFS, how to configure NFS. Sometime you are responsible to manage iSCSI as well. These all protocols can help us to manage our network storage, to manage our shared storage, all right? 
apart from this we are responsible to manage outlook troubleshooting this is really common and uh, important for the system administrator this is common task that need to performed by that uh, system administrator must need to perform outlook uh, troubleshooting yep you can say that outlook troubleshooting means you are responsible to resolve the issues related to the outlook because you know that each and every organization each and uh, the, each and every employees need to configure their mail id with the help of outlook tool so sometime what happens user unable to open their mail user unable to send any email user unable to open the outlook maybe this is also a common common issue for uh, our day to day activity so you should know about the procedure how to resolve the issues related to the outlook all right apart from the outlook we are responsible to manage slow performance right slow performance in the sense like uh, we have a good configuration with laptop or desktop but unfortunately we are not able to like uh, utilize the entire hardware whenever we try to open any kind of wizard or any kind of uh, internet page it is really slow so you should know about the cause of slow performance and you are also responsible to resolve the issues how we resolve the issues related to the slow performance blue screen of death this is most common problem so how we can resolve the problem what are the cause of blue screen of death so you should know each and every point related to the troubleshooting of uh, bsod these all part are related to the these all parts are related to the desktop troubleshooting but for the system administrator is also responsible because nowadays according to the jd for the system administrator totally changed because nowadays each and every organization want to hire uh, engineer who know very well about the desktop troubleshooting who must need to know about how to manage the office 365 services you should know about some part of virtualization some part of virtualization and you must need to good with the active directory domain services so most common technologies are required for any system administrator job for any system administrator interview you must need to prepare yourself for number 1 and user computing right the first and really important part and user computing and that contain n number of content in end user computing if we talk about the sub topics so multiple topics are involved in case of end user computing number second wintel you can say that uh, active directory yep active directory you know that which is really important feature of server operating system whenever we install our server machine it will give us access of uh, install active directory domain services and after wintel you also need to know about office 365 nowadays you can say that microsoft 365 all right number 4 at least one virtualization you should know about what one virtualization in the virtualization you should know about uh, maybe vmware right you must need to know about uh, hypervisor so if you have idea about these technologies like as the end user computing wintel active directory office 365 and virtualization any virtualization like you could be the uh, hypervisor if you could be the vmware vsphere esxi host and vcenter server then definitely it will help you to to like as a shortlist your resume for the system administrator and senior system administrator the responsibility we already discussed about as a desktop in case of desktop we are responsible to resolve the issues related to uh, the desktop networking printer share printer or uh, like uh, the storage bsod and uh, uh, the slow performance so these types of these types of troubleshooting we need to perform as a system administrator apart from this we are also responsible to know about the server management in case of server management if we talk about the work that you need to perform or uh, the the preparation that you need to uh, prepare in case of wintel you should know about server hardware which is really important server hardware and uh, different types of operating system hardware in the sense like you should know about the model number hp dell and uh, ibm so you should know about the how many types of server models are available in the market and what are the configuration basically contained by the server hardware number second you should know about active directory domain services our responsibility we should know about ad objects and containers right 
ad objects and containers you it's our responsibility what is dhcp what is dns right these all are the most common uh, component for the wintel engineers right dns dhcp and you also need to know about the basic of wds plus w sus which is uh, for the update and the important part you must need to know about the backup and restore not by using any third party tool with the help of uh, built in service uh, uh, of server any server operating system backup and restore and uh, you can also proceed for like uh, um, fsmo role right you need to know about the work of F fsmo roles and uh, uh, domain replication is also important means how many types of replication that we can perform you should know about the procedure how to set up a replication how to troubleshoot the issues related to the replication and guys one more po point that you wanted to add because most of uh, companies are going to ask you question what is dfs and uh, what about dfs replication all right so 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 these all most common content for the wintel if you are preparing yourself so please go through the each and every point that i mentioned practically theoretically and presentation wise as well and let's talk about what are the responsibility means what are the topics that we need to know in case of uh, office 365 or microsoft 365 right so our responsibility our responsibility we must need to prepare ourselves for the users management right how to onboard and offboard uh, uh, users you should know about group you should know about licenses how to assign the license how many types of licenses are available and then you need to know about um, adding custom domain right how to add custom domain on microsoft 365 services apply multi-factor authentication mfa you should know about the procedure how to configure sspr right you need to know about ad connect i'm talking about microsoft intra connect right you should know about some part of exchange online how to install exchange server on on-premises and you also need to know about the method how to handle and how we can manage the services of uh, exchange online so guys these most common content required for the system admin senior system admin and advanced system administrator i have already uploaded one complete playlist for system administrator how to become system administrator in 2024 the playlist that I have already created in both the language like Hindi and English. So you just need to find it and go through the entire classes, entire videos that I uploaded in this playlist. Definitely it will help you to crack the interview for the system administrator. That's it guys. That's enough for today. We'll connect soon and discuss more about how to start our journey as a system administrator. Guys, please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. We'll connect soon and discuss more about it. Take care. Bye-bye.